Vermeer's girl with the red hat. The girl with the red hat doesn't live for you. The girl with the red hat doesn't dress for you. She didn't know you existed until now. The girl with the red hat is appraising you. She's wondering if you're a threat and will as long as you're in sight. The girl with the red hat hasn't heard of you, has no idea what you might say or why. If your lives were a Venn diagram, the intersection would barely be a point. The girl with the red hat is not a girl. This is not the 17th century, and she is not to be trivialized. The girl with the red hat is her own person, and she paid for your respect with her birth. The girl with the red hat is a woman. the fall of Paris. We'd been to the clubs that night, letting the world know we were lovers. This was Paris. The spring was 1940, and heads didn't turn to follow us because we were two women embracing, but because we were beautifully young. We must have been young, Mon Cherie. Who, how else could we have found ourselves dancing on a rooftop parapet, looking as if it were nothing, ten lofty stories to the sober Sunday street below? How else could we find each other? This memory doesn't end in disaster. You didn't fall, nor obviously did I. It ends instead in all too common tragedy. The Germans came to us in June. I went to the countryside, the resistance. You stayed in the capital, a Jew. Short essay exam. If you wear the shadow of a tree, dark against the sun-white sidewalk, what will grow there by your act? And if you're three years old and you water the shadow of a tree, what will grow in you with the years? And if you've grown old but not concrete, will you watch out the open window, cheering other, window, other water, other shadows? Schrodinger's Ghosts. I'm haunted by my memories. Like the kid on the flight deck, 10 miles off Marble Mountain, one hot September in 68. My age and indisputably dead. No question, no binary toss. So the nightmares are my problem, but they don't stop the morning. And sometimes there's a void, like thinking about women I loved or thought I did, the ones who might or tried or never felt the same, decades and lifetimes in the dust, the ones I'll never hear from again. So I hope they're old, happy, well, but there is no way on earth to open that box. Ostinato. There's a music that resonates, vibrations from an older world that touch now and call out without making any promises beyond a, scene, beyond a smile among the aches. Consider it an unpredictable, a dream that shimmers in the light, a friendly spirit come too late without apology or explanation, discomforting without a threat. 
It will last, it will go and come back. The music disguised as a word, the taste of fresh tomato soup, the smell of flowers in the evening. To live, it appears, means reliving. Creation. The shadow of a tree moving across a blank page is no more than the wind until stopped to be examined. To trade places with a rock lifted by the hand of curiosity from a freshened stream on a day when flecks of dancing sunlight offer possibilities, but no certainties. Moved by wind or water, a leaf changes everything but longs to be held between pages to wait for its own sweet revelation. Okay, so I've been writing, if you could call it that, back then, since 1963. Um, It's always tough to decide what I want to read at a a venue. Uh, I'm going to close this set with one of two poems that, out of all of them, I would like to be remembered for after I'm gone. You can read both of them. I'll, I'll read the other one in the second set. Yeah. <laughs> Never fear. <laughs> one day, soon perhaps, or later, I will sit at the edge of the mountains and make music and write a song and paint the rising crag and gather words into a poem. You will be with me. And you will wonder at their order. And you will climb despite your fears. And you will sing a delicate echo and you will dance in perfect time. I will see you there. In the shadow of the jumbled stone from a distant vantage from memories you leave in the warm hold of my heart so that if I am alone, I still will not be lonely.